guys, it's Wenji here. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, someone just gouged out my eyes. I love it because you also kind of look like yourself on the other side, so people can recognize you. If you want a beginner's makeup look but still look awesome, this is the look for you. I got you. Also, I'd love for you to join my little family here by clicking the subscribe button. You'll also get notifications of all my videos. I make two a week and I'm also holding a giveaway. So I've linked the giveaway down below. It's for an iPhone and a slumber party with me. So yeah, don't forget to enter that. So without further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. Start off with any makeup look. You only really need to do this on one side of your face. Then get some black netting like a pair of old stockings and cut it into the shape covering your eye socket. Keep trimming until you have your desired shape. This will hide your eyes and make it look like there's a black vacant hole. The best thing about this is you can actually still see through this. So you can do this on both eyes. Use black face paint and apply it all over your eye socket area up to your brows. You can also use an eyeliner to mark an outline if you need. And then fill in the rest. Then to make sure we see no flesh, use a gel liner to line your waterline so that it all blends in. I'm also going to do a second coat because it wasn't dark enough. Next, use lash glue or liquid latex to stick your patch on. I can still see my eye so I added a second layer. Simply use some more glue and stick it on top. Now I'm using cotton balls and liquid latex or lash glue for this next part. Start pulling the cotton apart so that it's less dense and dip them in glue so that they stick onto your face. Repeat this process until the whole area around your eye socket is covered. You can stretch the cotton at the edges to make it thinner so that it blends in with your skin and doesn't look like there's a huge fat edge to it. Remember, once you put the fake blood on, the cotton will actually flatten a lot so you can put it a little bit thicker than what you want. Once this is done, take your fake blood and just cover all the cotton with it. You don't even need to be neat, just soak it in. Take some black face paint and then start blending the dark socket with the blood to make this sort of dried blood which is like dark and cakey. Keep doing this so that your eye socket looks like it's like half dried and all gross. Take some more fake blood and blend out the outline so there isn't really a clean edge to your cotton. Then take huge globs of blood and then drip it from your socket area. So it looks like it's just freshly bleeding. This is so fun and it looks amazing. This can get a little bit messy, so make sure you cover up the area with towels or newspapers so that you don't get it everywhere. You don't want blood stains. <laughs> I did about four drips all over my face and make sure you just glob it on and let it drip down. It feels so weird when this happens. Finish off by adding more fake blood around the socket so it looks really wet and globby. Next, you want to take your fingers and then really pull this blood and stuff around your face as if you've tried to like grab onto your eye and you've just made a mess of it. You can also spread this down your neck as well to make it more realistic. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I gotta say guys, you gotta be like super careful with the fake blood around this netting area. You can kind of feel it seeping in towards like my skin. It feels kind of moist under there. <laughs> Just letting you guys know. So if you've watched this far into the video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up to show your appreciation and to let me know that you've enjoyed the video. You know it makes my day. Don't forget that I love you guys so 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 much and I'll see you right back here in a couple of days for my next video. Bye!